Yeah, wow, 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 wow. First of all, uh, dream come true, all right? I'll talk a little bit about me and then my team because I'm tired of talking about me. <laughs> my debut is finally over, uh, but I just, from the bottom of my heart, um, I'm trying not to get emotional. Uh, just thank everybody. Administration for giving me a chance. Uh, the fan base for loving me and my family. I put a little thing out on Twitter. Uh, me and my wife were on the couch last night just going, can you believe it's been eight and a half months uh, where I just got off a plane and now we're here. Um, and everybody, you know, it, it is what it is. Can, you know, can we recruit? Can he keep the players? Uh, will the energy be good? What's going on with the women's program? And to think of everything that we've overcome uh, from a storyline and the narrative, uh, I couldn't be more excited where we're at. We are going to celebrate today, but we're working on rebounding tomorrow. All right, I promise you that. But again, from the bottom of my heart to all our fan base, thank you. Uh, this, was, this was great. Let's stop celebrating me and now let's celebrate these women. Robbie, go ahead. Sam, we saw kind of the depth that you've accumulated and the talent, too. It didn't really matter who you brought in. Somebody was making plays out there. Were, were you pleased with that aspect up and down the bench, the production that you got? I was. I was because I think me, me and you talked about it, too. We had two great close exhibitions uh, where I saw that, where we shared the ball. We moved. The team was dialed in. Um, but like I said, I needed to see the lights come on. Uh, and tonight the lights came on and for us to have that same passion and energy. Um, but most importantly, everybody willing when I took them out to be not going, why are you taking me out? But you got it to the next person. Uh, and when you got that kind of culture, uh, you got that kind of group who is not, who's more about we than me, uh, special things can happen. So very pleased on opening night. To your point too, Anastasia, that's a player that last year, I mean, she had to get 20 plus to give you a chance. She had three points tonight, but eight assists and only two turnovers. I mean, what did you think about, about her game tonight? Well, first of all, I can't wait to watch the film. Who messed up the other two? She should have had ten. <laughs> all right, let's talk about that one she threw from uh, the floor. I told my team, I don't think people realize how special a pass that was. Most young women get up and panic and travel. But the fact that she was able to move her body, and throw a pass that most kids would throw at their ankles, but through a direct bounce pass that led right to the pocket and lay it up, speaks about how special she is um, and how special our team is. Because again, like you said, this is a young lady that has scored. She's checked that box. The scouts know that if she needs to put up 18 to 20, she can do it. But she's trying to do bigger things than this last year, and I'm forever grateful for her for taking on this role. Uh, and like we've talked, there's going to be other games that I want need her to put 20. Um, but that's a special thing about our team that we, we've got multiple kids, and that's what our fan base can expect, that uh, whose night is it? Uh, and if our team can buy into that, uh, watch out, because it'll be a fun ride hopefully come March. Uh, Jessica just said that, you know, maybe towards the end of the game, she was getting a bit frustrated. And then that last media timeout, it seems like you talked to her, you know, first before you kind of addressed the whole team, I guess. What was the message? Were you telling her she was a couple rebounds away? What was that conversation? Yeah, yeah that was a, spe a special moment for both of us. I said, Jess, I said, are you getting down on yourself right now? And she was like, yeah. I said, do you realize where you were last year? I said, think about this. I took this job and I didn't even know if you were coming back. And the fact that you've coming back and the story about who you are and what you've done. Um, I said, girl, if you don't put a smile on your face, because this is unbelievable, you about to have a double-double. So when we get out of this timeout, go out there and go get what yours, all right? Go get it, and then I'm taking you out. So <laughs> I, I got to give a shout out to my SID, because I kept on going, is that, a, is that official, is that official? <laughs> and uh, fortunately, I had a timeout so we could use a substitution. Um, but it, it's funny how the good Lord works. Um, and for her, like I said, for everything that she's been through, um, man, like I said, it makes me want to cry. Um, I'm happy for it. I'm happy for it. So double, double. God is good. Um, pretty much every time we talk to the players since, I guess, June or July, <laughs> the message has been they were ready for opening night and everyone played like they were ready for opening night. Uh, how much of a headache did you have just picking a starting five? Oh, making a starting five? Yeah. I did it. I did it. And see, here, the team knows when I took the job. Obviously, the first summer was, okay, is this guy for real? All right, what you preach and what you say, like, is this every day? And then after they got out of the summer, they were like, man, this guy don't stop. And I told him, I'm a practice coach. 
You put, you, everything you get is what you earn in practice. I'm gonna play the people who show me day in and day out, I don't play favorites. And then they bought in and realized, okay, the best ones who are playing right now is why they're starting. Here's another thing, At, uh, Asian A, I can't say enough good things about her. She could be starting, okay, to transfer like she did for one year, all right, is why I'm excited about this team because I talked to her today before she and I was like, hey, listen, there's no doubt about it, you could start for us right now. But what's best for this team is you provided energy like no other, and I think everybody saw tonight how, well, how talented that young lady is, and she can flat out score the ball. So uh, it's not about starters for us right now, and uh, again, if we're gonna make deep runs in March, it's gotta be we over me. Okay. You, you had talked yesterday about maybe having 10 players, a 10 player rotation. Tonight, I think you had 12 in there. Do you want to play that many players? Eventually, are you going to tighten up the rotation a little bit? I mean, what's your philosophy on that? If we can score 104 points, I'm going to play 12 every night. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to play the lottery that I lost. All right? <laughs> Who won that? Somebody in California, right? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I almost picked those winning numbers tonight. I was too <laughs> off. Uh, but, no, I do. I want to play them. If my, kid, if my young women work and they work hard, and I want to reward them if the opportunity presents itself. So it's, it's, it's going to be a situation each night. Um, I, you know, Friday, we're going to enjoy tonight, but I, there, there is a concern for me with North Alabama. Uh, that's a team who was down four and a half to Kentucky last year, who was the SEC champs. That's a team, I believe, that lost by 10 to Florida Gulf Coast, who was a top 25 program. Um, so I'm excited to see what kind of team I have who can bounce back. All right, we enjoyed the night. Everybody got to have fun, right, girls? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, <laughs> you had fun? I had fun, okay? Uh, but tomorrow it's like, okay, let's watch the film and let's, let's hurry and make sure we're dialed in because uh, not only is it a special weekend as it's Georgia football weekend and we have so many awesome sports who are doing well that we've talked about previously. Soccer leading the way, no pressure, James Armstrong. I need a good <laughs> juju so they can lead from there. and. Uh, come to women's basketball, and then it's our job to pass the baton for volleyball and get this place just an all-day access of why this place is special. Uh, but the big event, as we all know, is LaToya. The fact that we are retiring her number finally uh, is awesome. What a great role model for my young women. What a great role model for women's basketball, and most importantly, Mississippi State. Uh, when you're thinking about the all-time leading scorer, men's or women's that that's pretty impressive four time kodak all-american i'm gonna call the ncaa and see if she has any more eligibility <laughs> all right because i think she probably can still get buckets um but i'm asking all our, our fan base help me out all right i know we travel i know it's a football tailgate weekend i know we got soccer but let's give her the roses uh the energy and the bottom bowl sold out that she deserves because we're retiring one of the best who ever played here and what a great opportunity that would be to leave with a win and most importantly at a field that she'll never forget. Well, I know you say you didn't want to talk too much about yourself, but I got to ask, I mean, what was it like? I mean, you go through these past few months to finally be there, be, be coaching a game at the hump and, you know, now you got your assistants joining you post game and just, you know, so many years as an assistant, what's it like, you know, being the head coach for a game? Ooh, man, again, I say it all the time. I can't thank Jeff Walls enough, right? And I really mean this with the bottom of my heart. I actually text him uh, before the game. And um, he's like a brother to me. Uh, I just told him, Jeff, you know what? What you did for me for nine years uh, to set me up for this moment, I'm ready. I'm ready. And there's a lot of places that are not like that. He's a, he's a unique uh, man. Not only is he a great Hall of Fame coach, but it's the way he manages people. Uh, the opportunities and the platform he gave me there during that awesome, awesome time made this for an easy transition. So I'm forever grateful to him. Got time for one or two more. 